welcome to another video. Today we're going to be doing an unboxing. This unboxing is from DIY Choose. They did send me these items for review, so thank you to DIY Choose. So let's do this one here first. So this one, I was actually surprised how fast I got this shipment because since I do get a lot of PR packages, I do kind of gauge how fast things get to me and most of the time I'm I'm thinking most of my diamond paints get, get to me in around the three three week mark so this one came to me in 11 days and I was like wait I got that one already I feel like I just put in the email for it so this first one it looks like ordinary toolkit except there are a couple baggies um, these are keychains and they're special drills um, so yeah, I don't know. It, it must have been on the magical shipment where it just came right away. So these are gnome keychains. <laughs> I don't know. It, I thought it was cute. I don't know if these are Christmas gnomes or anything because they kind of do look like they have Christmas hats, but that's okay. But this one had like a heart on it. So it does look like it's only one-sided. Um, the, the diamond painting is only one-sided, but there's these Christmas gnomes here. This one is $7.39, and which one is the tallest one? And so, well, we'll go for this one. We'll, we'll measure this one. So this one is about 4 centimeters by 8 centimeters. So that one looks like it's the widest one, so this one might be the smallest one. But... But yeah, here's some closer up. I guess I could move the camera down, but so move it down. I could only move it down so much before. And so actually there's a good amount of colors here. Okay, so some dome drills here, some more dome drills and some heart shaped clear drills and some uh, marquees. Let's move, put those back in there so we don't lose them. So there is no code or anything. So some rhinestones, some grays, greens, orange, clears, blues, and reds here. So yeah, did I say this is $7.39? Possibly. Um, <laughs> and I, I, yeah, I did measure them because I remember measuring the, the widest looking one. And let's put the keychains back in there so I don't lose them. And let's put it back in here because so that because there's no code that's on the keychain, so I'm gonna need to know which one is the keychains. So there. Put them all together so I don't get lost. So next one is also a small diamond painting. Um I think. I think that's what this one is. Um, so yeah, I'm planning to give all my tiny projects away during Halloween and well, I'm gonna attempt to give them away. So this one is a keychain here. It's of these flowers here. Um, it does have a pretty strong smell, but I've from experience in the past, it will just kind of dissipate. Um, so, ordinary toolkit, except there's some tweezers, um, and then here's the tassel. It looks like it's the same tassel that I got on my last diamond painting, so this must be their typical tassel with this flower here. Sometimes I think it doesn't match the, the bookmark, but I think it'll match this one with the flowers here. And let me open. Okay. So, looks like some white drills here, and then some rhinestones, and then, ooh, these are pretty. Um, some really blingy teardrops, and then some marquees, and then some smaller marquees. So this one is $4.99. Oh wait, I need to do this in twos so that it'll fit in here. $4.99, and... Why? Okay. So apparently, oh yeah, the big outer bag was the, the little bubble bag. So this one's for um, 99. Where is my... I feel like I get unorganized every time I do one of these unboxings. So it's six centimeters by 
20 centimeters. So yeah, nice little bookmark here. And next I'm painting. I forgot to cut them all open before the video. Um, that's what I've been doing and then, you know, you forget. <laughs> So this one, which one is this one? I'm like opening it and I'm like, oh yeah, now I know. Um, this one is also a special shaped diamond painting. Oh, apparently I have all special shapes in this one. Um, so ordinary toolkit, like I said, the special shapes and, oh, wrong way. It's this one, it's a tiger, I figure. It's the year of the tiger, right? I think. I feel like at some point during the Chinese New Year times, they said it was the year of the tiger. Um, <laughs> I'm, I don't follow. I don't follow it that often. I think. I think I was born in the year of the dog. I could be wrong. <laughs> but yeah, I think 2022 is the year of the tiger. I don't know if it's this type of tiger with the more white tiger but what i the reason i got this is i saw the original picture and it had the blue eyes and if you've seen me do other cat pictures or the i do really like making the eyes kind of pop out so i thought that one would look really good and i i wouldn't have to like come up with it myself because you can just use your leftover rhinestones and stuff to add a little bit of extra bling and color to your other diamond paintings so but i this one came with, with came like it oh wait there are nine colors in this it does look like it's just one two three and then there's a dot and then there's an a so yeah i think i don't think there'll be any any issues reading anything on this one so let's look at the drills oh i think this is the first time i've gotten these these are black marquee drills um, some more black drills. Yeah, I always like it when I get um, specials that I've never gotten before. Because do you see how many specials my mom and I go through? You see my kidding downs? I have tons. <laughs> so some purples. Ooh, wait. I mean, grays. These actually do have the code on them. See? It says 82, 84, 83, 7, um, 93, 94. Um, although these are um, black drills. But 94, uh, 93 is the for black. I don't know what 94 is. I always thought one was nine. Yeah. So some. Ooh, this one's really beautiful. I wonder if that's the eyes. That must be the eyes. I thought it was a blue, but this is more of a turquoise. That's like even better. Um, some grays here, and then some blacks. So yeah, I just have to remember when I kit this up that it does have the crystal coat on there. Because I might just completely forget. And then, yeah. Then I had to have to do it by matching it myself. So this one is $6.39. Um, it is a 24 by 24. And next one. This one... Well, I know which one this is. I just have to find it in my links there. So this uh, next one is um, one of these. Oh, these these magnets are huge. Okay, um, so. It's, I've gotten a, a plate like this before. It's like a metal plate here. This one has a moon here. Um, and, and then you have individual magnets to put in here for, you know, here's Halloween. I don't know if the moon matches the Halloween, um, but it could work out right. You'll just be like, yeah, sure, the moon with the butterflies and this Halloween. But yeah, no, these magnets are actually pretty big. Um, I, I got something similar, like um, an, another magnetic plate, and I think the magnets were only yay big instead. So this is a pretty decent size magnet here. So this one um, is $29.99. Um, 
And now I kind of get the price because the magnets, the magnets are huge, I'm telling <laughs> So the plate here is about a diameter of 30 centimeters. Um, and then you do diamond paint the moon here and then the butterflies. And then each of these are appropriate for, um, these, like I said, these are some, look at, look at how big it is compared to my hand. So let's just measure the pumpkin. So this pumpkin is about nine centimeters by, um, 12 and a half. So yeah, it's pretty substantial size. So some, a pumpkin with a witch's hat here. This is beautiful. It's a basket with some flowers. Um, which I think I had this on a different diamond painting and I was like, I don't know what, um, flower that is. And people told me it was a grape hyacinth. I can't, I don't know if that's how you pronounce it. Um, but yeah, I think that might be what that is. Um, Santa here with the stalking of a scary clown here. <laughs> and then a cat in a teacup. What is this? Up, oh, it's a butterfly. It's this direction. It's a butterfly with some flowers. Here is a teddy bear, unicorn. Oh, I like this one. It's a bear in a stocking. Oh, it's an owl. It's cute. You... Here is some snowman. Oh, here's the Easter one, Easter bunny here. And an ele elephant. Oh, this one. You could like totally just um, keep the magnets and put them as completely different things too. Like be like, here's my, it doesn't have to be part of this. Um, Cause they're, they're a substantial size. So I like it. I'm, I'm pleasantly supply, su not supplies, surprised with the magnets here. I don't know why, <laughs> but yeah, no, I, they're, they're a decent size, these magnets. So and let's look at the drills. So, so it does look like it's mainly regular drills, except there are a couple specials here. So, all the look at these tiny teardrops, some stars, tiny teardrops, some black drills. I don't think I've gotten this. It's a black domey drill. Um, red domey drills, some clear, so bl my gold domey drills, I love those ones. Um, so those are the specials. Oh wait, looks like there is a couple more specials here too. So some more, um, tiny, tiny teardrops, not my favorite, but, oh, there's, I don't think I've gotten this purple one before. Um, so then the rest looks like it's regular drills, so some white, are there DMCs? Nope. Um... These, Ooh, this is a really vibrant orange here, vibrant red, some brown, some reds, and then here's some purple and black. So, so yeah, that is the last one I'm unboxing for this video. Um, Let's see. So in case you don't remember, here is the, let me move you up and then showcase the plethora of magnets here. Um, cause it's a plethora. I'm going to go for that. Um, cause there is a good amount of magnets. Um, move you this way so that there's more space here. And then I'm going to have the, the bear hugging the moon. Because I think that's probably the <laughs> most appropriate there. So there is all the magnets for this one. Um, here are the gnomes. Um, if, and in here is the tiger. I'm sorry, Santa. There. There's the tiger. So that's all for now. I'm going to work on some stuff here. Um, I'm probably going to do the gnomes and the tiger. I could see myself doing all of these. But we will see. But yeah, no, these are much bigger than I thought. And this will actually take a good chunk of time to dumb paint. Um, <laughs> so I will see you later. 
So I'm back and the bookmark is done here. It's actually really beautiful, this bookmark. I think so. It, these are some really, really blingy um, teardrops here. And yeah, no, it just, it's just a nice combination of colors and it's really beautiful. And that tassel for this actually, I feel like kind of matches it with the little flower in there. Um, because I, I, I got the same tassel for my um, like Harry Potter bookmarks and I was like, I don't know, does it really match? <laughs> but yeah, no, this one, let's see, these one had eight colors, one was just a regular round drill, and four were crystal rhinestones and three specials. This took me 38 minutes to complete, woohoo! <laughs> Less than an hour. Um, so I thought the rendering was good, the symbols I put in that they were a little blurry. The stick was good, but a lot of excess, so um, I did end up um, sealing this so that um, usually sealing a diamond painting will, you know, take away the excess stickiness, but it also might take away a little bit of the AB sparkle on this one. So I don't know about the, the spray sealer I used on this one, whether I think it, do, it did kind of diminish a little bit of the AB coating on these drills. So that's the one problem with sealing. Um, and it's a bookmark and the drill side were good. So I didn't really have any other comments on this one. So yeah, there's that one. And I also finished the keychains, the gnome keychains here. So these are only one-sided though. So then here's closer up here. There's that gnome. Here's the other gnome. And this one actually, I really like this flower here. There's that gnome there. And this one looks more like a Christmassy gnome because of the, what do you call this, the holly berries? So yeah, there's the gnomes here. So what did I write on this one? So this one, there was 14 colors, 10 were crystal rhinestones and four specials. I, I pretty much said like the, Rendering was good, the symbols were good, the stick was good, these were keychains, the drills were okay. And I mean my okay as in like nothing special, but nothing like exceptional. Um, and this took me 57 minutes to complete, so the gnomes took me a little longer than the, than the, what do you call that? Keych- no, the keychain. The bookmark. Here, so yeah, there's the gnomes. I did also seal these two because, you know, I'm gonna be handling them, you know. So I just use a uh, spray sealer. Um, but yeah, I do, I don't know if I, if I like this one that much. It, I feel like it took away some of the, the AB coating sparkle on there. So next time I'm painting, now let's see these. Next one was done by my mom. So it's this one here, the white tiger. So this was a 24 by 24. There were nine colors, two were regular drills and five were crystal rhinestones and two were specials. Um, my mom did this over two days and I think, you know, I think um, it's, I, I like kind of, I kind of like the contrast that they did for the um, rhinestones and the specials. So um, they, there were the pretty much the, the regular, I mean the rhinestones and the regular drills. The regular drills were pretty much just black and white here. So you could kind of see the, the stripes and the white of the um, tiger and then the background and I guess this nose part here. Um, over, and here is the rhinestones. So I don't know. I'm, I'm not, yeah, it's, it's an interesting combination, but I think it, it, it works. So, and I do really like how the eyes turned out here. And if these eyes were just like regular, like these color drills, I probably would have done the same thing and made the eyes blue. Cause it just looks really awesome when you have the really poppy color for the eyes of these animal pictures. So even though it's probably not a natural color, I do the same thing. So, so yeah, no, I think this one turned out this one turned out um, pretty good, and considering it's it's a partial, it's actually relatively full drill. Um, so so yeah, I think that's why I called this a full drill one. But I think I think it turned out turned out good here. Um, I do see the the symbols underneath the drills, but that could also be my mom not putting in as nicely. Oh, and yeah, there are specials here too. So there's some like 
um, marquee drills here. But yeah, I think it turned out good here. So I think this was my like, let's get some tiger pictures, right? You're the tiger. <laughs> so next time I'm painting is this one here. Um, yes, I I'm not showing you all the magnets yet. So my mom did this one. So did she? So my mom did this one. The the pendant is about 30 um, centimeters in diameter plus all the magnets and the magnets are actually a, a pretty substantial size for this one. So this one had 30 colors. 19 were regular round drills and 11 specials. Um, my mom took two days to complete this and she did end up telling me that she changed some of the colors because she didn't like what color got chosen for certain parts of it so she changed it up herself and then she also added drills where she thought there needed to be more. So yeah, my mom is getting adventurous in her, um, I don't know, in her diamond painting. She's just not following exactly what everything is saying here. So I did do a spray sealer on this one too, um, mainly because, you know, you're going to be putting magnets on it and it's not going to be um, under a frame or anything, but I did notice, yeah, the spray sealer kind of messed up the the AB coating on these things. So yeah, I'm not sure if I like that one. So uh, yeah, in the future, when it's not, when the temperature is not um, as cold, I'm probably going to test out a whole bunch of spray sealers and see which one I think doesn't take away things. But but yeah, I think this still looks really really beautiful here. Um, some a moon with some butterflies and there are 12 magnets with this thing. I hopefully I have all of them. <laughs> so first magnet. So yeah, so this came with magnets and then you're supposed to be able to just kind of plunk them down there. I don't know about this matching the the moon back um, background, but it could work, right? Be like, ha ha ha, I have taken over your moon. I don't know, peaceful moon kingdom. I'm, I don't know. I'm just making things up. Why am I making up stories? <laughs> I'm not a storyteller. So, so yeah, here's the jack-o'-lantern here. I think this one actually turned out really good. And what's nice about these magnets is they are pretty big. Like, look, it takes up most of my hand. Sure, my hand is on the smaller side. When I'm at work, I use the small size um, gloves, but so yeah, jack-o'-lantern here with the witch's hat. Here is the Easter Bunny. It's cute. The Easter Bunny. Um, here is a bear in a stocking. So this would probably be a Christmas one. Here is the sleeping bear. I think this is the one that matches this the most. Like, there. Sleeping bear. Um, here's a cute little elephant. Here's a cat in a teacup. Here's a butterfly, so another butterfly amongst this. So that yeah, there's no space to put more than one magnet in there. So a butterfly here. Here is an owl. Here's a unicorn, a rainbow unicorn. Here is Santa. Here is some snowmen. And here is the flower basket. This is the one that my mom by far complained about the most. I don't know. She was like, this one was hard. Like, uh, I don't know if you see these little teeny tiny drills here. The the little teeny tiny teardrops. Those are like my least favorite drills um, because they are so difficult to put on. Um, she was like, this one was hard. It took me so long to do. <laughs> yeah, my mom likes the simple her diamond paintings. So yeah, there is. I, I Oh, I do remember what. Um, the one that my mom was, I think, which one was the one? One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven. Am I missing one? Oh, twelve there. Um, there was one, the one that she was, I think it was this one where she changed a lot of it because, um, I think the, the mouth was like the wrong color. It was, I forgot what color it was, but yeah, no, she was, uh, and I was like, you could just choose a different color and you do that for the thing. So yeah, I don't remember. There was one where, oh no, no, it was this bear. 
um, she was um, saying that the the drill for the nose was actually the same color as this um, the sim as the this brown here, and I was like, you know, you could just put black in there. So she did put black, and then I think she added drills for the eyes here. So and the black drills for the eyes, and then added drills for the mouth. So yeah, I think this is the one that she was she was telling me she wanted to change, but she might have done other ones too. So yeah, here is this one. This one pretty much is taking up the whole whole table here. So let me move you up a little. So, good amount of finishes in this one. So yeah, here is the last one here with all the magnets. Um, here's the tiger. Here is the bookmark. And here are the gnomes. So thank you to DIY Choose for sending these items for review. And thank you for watching and happy diamond painting. Bye.